Hello out there, welcome to Managerial Accounting. In today's problem we're going to look at cost behavior. Uh, cost behavior is simply how the cost that we incur as a manufacturing firm are related to the or affected by the activities that we undertake. Uh, so for example, how would our cost respond if we make more of a product? Uh, how would our cost respond if we made less of a product? Um, so to kind of sum it up, it's how sensitive are the costs that we have to our levels of activity. So we'll jump right into it. The problem is over merry old games, they are a maker of croquet sets. I can't imagine that that would be a very lucrative business, but you know, whatever. Um, they are making 2,000 croquet sets in the month of February. And in doing so, they incurred all kinds of different costs. They had cost of boxes, they had mallets and balls and hoops, and, and then salary and wages and, and that kind of thing. So this is given in your book and they've given you all the costs that are associated with uh, making the croquet sets. What they want you to figure out, they want you to figure out what the per unit cost of every croquet set would be, and they want you to figure out the total cost of every croquet set. So we'll start there, and then we'll come back and look at C when they look forward one month to kind of figure out what happens if we make a little bit more. So let's start with A and B. And what I've set up for us here, I've set up a little spreadsheet, and most of the demonstrations that you'll see me do are going to be in Excel. Now, if you don't know how to use Excel or you don't like using Excel, you're not comfortable with it, that's totally fine. All I'm putting them in here for is because it's easy to see, and I can make my calculations quickly. That way you're not sitting around watching me do math by hand for 20 minutes in a video. I will try to get them done as quickly as I can and, uh, and make it as efficient as possible. So I've copied the information from the problem over. I've got all the items that went into our croquet set, and I've got the total cost that was given in the problem. We'll start with Part B and figure up the cost per set of uh, croquet sets. So what we're going to do is I'm going to simply divide every one of these costs by 2,000 and the 2,000 represents the number of units that we made in February. I'm going to go ahead and put some math symbols in here so you can kind of see what I'm doing because uh, I want to do some formulas. I don't want to get lost. So I'm going to take my total cost and divide it by the number made and that's going to give me a per set amount. So we have our math simple setup there. We're going to put the number made in. We're going to copy that number down the column. And then I'm simply going to take my 1,000 and divide it by the 2,000 units that we made to get a per set amount. So I'm going to take 1,000, divide it by 2,000 made, and I get a 50 cent per set amount for my cardboard boxes. And I'm going to take that formula and copy it down the column. And then if I take all those and add them together, I should get a total. So as you can see, we got $6.00 per set cost for mallets. We have croquet balls, 450, wire hoops, $1.80, and so on down the line there. Put them all together, and we get a total per set amount of 2035, and that would be our answer for part B of the problem. So to get our per unit cost, it's not very hard. We just need to figure out the per unit amount of every component unit, and the component unit is what you're going to find in the box. So obviously the cardboard box is going to be part of the product. The mallet, croquet ball and the wire hoops. Things down at the bottom like the wages and salary and the building rental and utilities aren't going really to be applicable to the component unit. So we're going to ignore those and put an NA next to them. So the way we get our per unit amount, we're just going to take that per set cost of 50 cents and divide it by the one cardboard box that comes with every set. So 50 cents divided by one, we obviously give you 50 cents. We're going to go down and take our mallets and divide $6 per set by 2. And there are two mallets included in every box. So 6 divided by 2 mallets gives us a per unit component cost of $3. The croquet balls will be $4.50 divided by 6. We get $0.75 cents per unit there. And then finally we'll take our $1.80 per set cost of wire hoops and divide that by 12. Nothing really to total up after that and that would give us our four answers for part A there. Moving on, let's look at number C, or letter C. Uh, March in 2013 we're expected to make 2,500 units. Now if you remember back in uh, February we made 2,000. So the other little difference is going to be the utility cost is going up by $100. So we have two things going on. We're making more and our utility costs have gone up. So I got a spreadsheet set up again and I carried all the information over that's going to be pertinent. I've got all the items listed there again and I've got our total cost brought over. You'll note that the utilities is now 1400 instead of 1300. Our per set amounts have been carried over from problem uh, 
A and B where they're applicable. Uh, the cost of our cardboard boxes and mallets and balls and hoops and hourly wages per set are going to stay the same. In total, they're going to go up, but as far as per unit, they're going to stay the same. The supervisor's salary, the building and equipment rental, and utilities, we now need to spread those out over 2,500 units. Whereas before we were spreading them over 2,000, now we're taking them and dividing them out over 2,500 units. So I'm going to take 2,600 divided by 2,500, and that gives me a per set amount of $1.04. Likewise, we'll take 2800 for the building and equipment rental and divide that out over 2500 units that we're making. And then finally, the last part, we'll take our utilities, now 1400 in the month of March, and we'll divide that over 2500 sets of croquet cases and it gives us a 56 cent amount. We add the whole column up and see what we come up with. Looking like $19.72 per set. So that's all the hoops you have to jump through for that problem. If you have any questions, let me know.